Hey everyone, EMC here. Welcome back to Persona 5. Oh, it seems we're finally going to be getting into some uh, some more gameplay. <laughs> this has been, uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, more of a let's watch than a let's play. <laughs> That's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. Uh, let's not open this door. We're probably not going to be allowed to open this door even. No, no, we're going to find him. Hurry up, follow him. Oh yeah, actually, we are supposed to be finding Morgana. Who's listed at the bottom right there as in my active party, and uh, that's not what I want to see. I don't even have a party thing here, so he's in my party, but he's not in my party. Thanks, game. Uh, we went by here when we came in the front. Yeah, because the front is literally to our right. What the? I was seeing double or something just now. Was that Shujin? Yeah. I told you before, this place is your school. Regardless, we don't have time to stand around. Who knows when shadows might show up? Let's go. Come on, this way. I like that transition. Is there, sorry, is there a way to change the, uh, the sensitivity, the camera sensitivity, camera speed, whoa, okay, so they're not, in t they're not, uh, yeah, okay, let's try this, okay, hmm. oh, that's much better, yeah, let's do that. Ah, the feeling that regards here. Is this going to be our tutorial about ambushing enemies? Looks like we won't be able to avoid conflict from this point forward. Yeah, that's to be expected. We're infiltrating a dungeon, or a palace, as it were. The dungeon of a palace. Yeah, are... Seriously? Listen up. Well, I'll just teach you the basics of battle right now. You better remember all of them. Uh, d didn't you already... Didn't we already get the basics of battle? Oh, okay, this is what they're talking about. Yeah, rule of thumb, try to ambush as many enemies as you can. Attack them from behind whenever possible. You'll need to rip off their mask and momentarily break the control of the palace ruler over them. If you succeed, the enemy will be caught off guard, allowing us to jump in for a preemptive attack. So, we had Margana just explain this, and now we're getting a splash screen for a tutorial explaining exactly that again. Really? Like, from what Morgana just said, we should very easily be able to figure this out from what happens on screen as we approach. I, like, I don't, I don't even understand why this was a thing. Like, why did they have to put this in there as well? Yeah. So we want to ambush them and go for the first strike. All right, I got it. Yeah, you're going to stay back. <laughs> yeah, you know you're just going to be watching, right? You can't use a persona. Let's go. Anyway, let's go. Benched. Alright, I like to call bullshit on that. You guys saw that the, the icon popped up, it said ambush, and I hit it, and I just did that instead of actually ambushing them. That was crap. I don't know their weakness. Guess I don't see a weak spot. Didn't we hit these guys? Two crypt dwelling. Oh, level two is what it's saying there. Crypt dwelling pyromaniac. Okay. I'm pretty sure. We already know he's weak against wind because you hit him with wind before and got a one more in the last uh, battle. Well, whatever. Yeah. See, we knew this already. 4 XP. Money. Alright, that's a little disorienting. For the other battles we've had, leading up to this point, I'm pretty sure they count as like mini-boss battles or something like that. It showed experience up top followed by money down low, and this thing, they're they're showing that in like the reverse sort of, or, I don't know, that... I don't know what I'm going on about here, but like, it just feels a little weird to me is all. That's what I'm trying to say. But okay. get a load of that transition. That was well done. That was smooth. I like it. 
And that is definitely a good way to, to handle these uh, separate uh, planes sort of stuff. And by that I mean like going from here to a battle screen and then hmm. back. That was pretty cool. Huh? Why ain't anyone here? Hey! Damn it, they were here before. Where'd they go? Quiet down! Yeah, seriously. Oh yeah, there are more of them further in too. Uh, great. Just run off ahead by yourself. Mm, this is... They might have been transferred already. Transferred to where? <laughs> no, so you're just going to be there out of breath. So a lot of footsteps coming. It would be a problem for you to discover us now. Now then. Uh, let's head into that room. We should be able to hide in there until they leave. Sure, why not? The shadows probably won't come in here. Probably is not definitely. <sighs> How can you tell? There's a lack of distortion here, meaning the ruler's control over this area is weak. Oh, okay. They are explaining that. Is this a classroom? Now do you understand? I bet I doubt he does. This place is another reality that the ruler's heart projects. This is Kamoshida's reality? Ugh, shit makes no sense at all. It actually does, but it's just a little fantastical as it were. One could say it's a world in which one's distorted desires have materialized. I call such a place a palace. This is happening because he thinks the school is his own castle. So it became like this because he just thought of it like that? <laughs> that son of a bitch! Uh, again, leave his mother out of this. He must really hate this Kamashita guy. Yes, yeah, seriously, and apparently his mother too. Hate doesn't even cover how I feel. Everything is that asshole's fault. Do you care to elaborate? I don't know what happened between you two, but don't let your emotions get the better of you. His lackeys are everywhere inside. Mm -hmm. That is very evident. You're curious about your outfit, aren't you? Yeah, I'm curious as hell about it, too. <laughs> I just like that before. You jelly? That's also because of this world. More stuff that makes no sense. Anything distorts according to how a ruler pleases within his palace. A school can turn into a castle like this, after all. In order to prevent such distortions, one must hold a powerful will of rebellion. Okay. Your appearance is a manifestation of that. It's the image of rebellion that you hold within. Ah, I'm so fed up with all this! I'm more curious about you than his clothes. What the hell are you anyways? <laughs> that actually is a good question. I'm a human. An honest-to-God human. No, you're obviously more like a cat. This is... well, it's because I lost my true form. How do you go about losing your true form? I think. You think? You think? Yes, thank- oh god, I agree with this guy right now. But I do know how to regain my true form. Are you sure? The reason why I snuck in here was for a preliminary investigation of those means. Well, I ended up getting caught, though. Yeah. You're welcome, by the way. Besides, I've been tortured by Kamoshida, too. I'm gonna make him pay for sure. Well, all right, then. What is this, a comic book? This is seriously crazy. <laughs> is this a comic book? If we're gonna keep going, we should hurry along. I'll be counting on your skills this time too, Rookie. Got it? Rookie? Uh, I suppose at this point that's fair. Don't worry, I'm not gonna force it all on you. I thought it might help, so... I brought this just in case. 
It's a model gun, though, so it only makes sounds. So how would that help? Why would you think that would help? That's a toy! But it looks totally real, so it'll at least fake him out. Oh, I brought some medicine, too. You know what they say, providing is pre-something. Huh? Huh? Provided is pre-something, huh? You know, I actually don't know what he's trying to say there. I, I don't know what's saying he's screwing up. So you were planning this from the start. Well, fine. If you're ready to go, we'll resume our infiltration. All right, I now have, uh, what is that, Kachev? I don't know if it's, it's pronounced Kachev there, or it's Kachev, or something there. I definitely have no idea. But it's a model gun, of, evidently. Now then. Uh, soldiers are still probably making the rounds outside. Let's use this time to sort through our current situation. Alright, safe another tutorial about safe rooms. Uh, you can consult with your teammates, save your game, that's nice. You can also save at the palace entrance. Yes. So. Fine, let's talk to... Damn it. Where are those guys locked up? Yeah. They're probably got moved to another location. Where and why? Well, somewhere deeper inside, probably because Kamoshida's a dick and wants to torture them. I'm pretty sure I just had a fair answer. Well, Soldiers were coming this way, right? Let's go take a look. Yeah, maybe we can follow them. Maybe they'll lead us to their, uh, to their prisoners. Yeah, I thought that was pretty fairly obvious of that. Okay, so, hmm. yeah, let's just continue. I was considering saving, but you know, let's just go. Let's take note of the situation and get out there. Alright, fine. Oh, that's actually quite a few. Thought I just heard something move out there. Guess it was my imagination. What are the slaves? They're all in the training hall. I'd assume they're screaming in pain by now. Very well. By the way, I heard we may have intruders around. Stay on your guard. Oh, that's always nice. Now we're here. Hmm. Hmm. Did you hear that? So why do they know we're here? The one group of shadows we've come across, we destroyed. I said training hall, right? Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's just a little further ahead. Let's go. All right, so there we have a save room. What's this? Bunch of empty cells. This is probably going nowhere. Yep. Okay, I see an enemy. Mm. Nice, uh, nice voice clip there. Of course, there's a guard on duty here. The way they're training hall should be just past those bars. So he's guarding our exit. What are we gonna do? We're we gonna fight it? Well, yeah. Seems so. Just don't let it notice you beforehand. If it does, pal's security level will rise. Oh yeah. Another tutorial. You spotted by an enemy, security level will rise. This is shown in the gauge of the upper left. Security layer, blah, blah, blah. As the security level rises, things get more, you know, secure. I don't even know what I just said there. Oh, you'll be forced to leave the palace if it gets too high. Wow. Alright. Come on, man. What do we do if it gets if that happens? Run away? Well, security level will go back down if you can beat enemies without getting noticed. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I guess. So that sounds complicated. Fine, I'll put together some info about the security level. Now, Understanding this is crucial to palace infiltration. Make sure you read it carefully, okay? Yeah, I don't need this. Uh, zero, okay. Yep. We have a tutorial message about tutorial messages. <sighs> this is back to me. Yeah, his back is to me. Show me your Who true you? form. So why did that work and the last one didn't? Like Now's our Ooh. chance to strike. 
Gallows Flower. I'm fairly certain these are Mandrakes. Or Mandragora. I don't know if they're which one name they go by. They go by. Yeah, this is English. Uh, I don't think Curse is going to be effective, but let's give it a try anyway. Did, did it just get two attacks? It's time. What was that? Am I going to get a chance to start controlling Morgana soon? Because I I don't think okay. I like... Well, I, I'll rephrase that. I don't like... Uh, yeah, I don't have a party... Yeah, no, I don't have the party mem uh, options yet. Um, okay, that's clearly where we do have to go. I can see the giant exclamation mark there, but what is over here? What's this? Nothing. Well then. Hey. Train hall's right ahead. Or ahead right. Yeah, there we go. It's a little further. Make sure you watch out for any guards along the way. Yeah, that's fairly obvious. I think that goes without saying. should have known that wasn't going to open. What are these? Just barrels. What? <laughs> uh, have you seen anyone who looks like an intruder? No, nobody yet. Mm. I had a feeling this would be a lot of enemies. It would be impossible to dodge all of them. And what do we do? Should we try to take them down like before? It's not that simple. It's a long way to go, so we should be conserving energy. Uh, yeah. Well, that does make sense. Damn it. Wish I could fight, at least to be able to help out a little bit. And, uh, all I got is this toy from earlier. Such a loser. Yes, I'm not disagreeing with you. Huh? Do you mean that gun? Yeah, it looks real and all, but it doesn't shoot anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There is a way. Okay. Care to elaborate? We'll use that to take down the enemies. Huh? <laughs> you listen to me? It doesn't even shoot pellets. Don't worry. The shirtless will attack. I'm sure this will work. Attack away, frizzy hair. Fr can we stop calling me frizzy hair? <laughs> what are we gonna do? Yes. Just trust me. Let's do this. Whoa. Oh my god. I keep saying it's not gonna fire anything! You have the gun with you, right? Point it at a shadow and fire! Alright, gun attacks are effective against enemies weak to guns. Press up, of course. Uh, you continue shooting until you run out of ammunition. You can also change targets between shots, use the directional buttons. And what they don't tell... well, we can only use the gun here. What they don't tell you here is that uh, your ammunition is limited to what it says there, and once you're out, you're out. You, you don't uh, refill unless you leave. Hmm. I don't know why I expected you to be weak to guns. How about that? Surprise. A little disappointed, actually. Be mindful of how much ammo you have left. Oh, now they're gonna tell us. Yeah. Guns have higher attack power than melee weapons, but come with limited ammunition. Guns have higher attack power than melee weapons. See, that's a the thing. They actually do, but they do crap for damage. So yeah, there's items to uh, get rid of, uh, or to re restore your ammo is what it's saying. And wow, it is pouring rain outside. Huh. Who's next? Morgana. I'm not done. Or can't, okay, some can't, ooh, tactics. 
Alright, this, thank you, direct commands. I'm glad I looked at that. I'm very glad I looked at that. I do not like how it's like default by, you know, act on your own. Will this crit? It will not. Alright, I'll show you my weapon too. I, you don't need to. Well, that's kind of crap. Well, I guess it's because it's a tutorial uh, thing. There, usually when you knock all the enemies down, you'll get like a uh, an all-out attack. Actually, no, that's not true. I shouldn't say that because we didn't actually knock that other enemy down. He just died. Well, I guess that was a moot point I was bringing up. Oh, I could have just done it right there. Oh, well. I don't think it would have made a difference. Hey! Ooh, level 3 and 4. We both leveled up. It's a step forward. Me and our son. But, uh, no new, uh, no new skill for our son. For real? <laughs> that toy gun just shoot real frickin' bullets. This is a cognitive world. See, this might have been helpful a little earlier with him not understanding, but I have a feeling he's not gonna understand this either. As long as your opponent sees it as real, it becomes such. It's a good thing it looks realistic. I don't get it. Yeah, of course you don't. <laughs> I wasn't expecting some of your brains to understand. Nice. How about you, frizzy hair? Please stop calling me that. Did you get what I said? Yes, it's simple lo <laughs> It's simple logic. Nice going! Yeah, that's just what I was expecting. Wait, if it's better having something realistic, why do you got that slingshot? <laughs> Ryuji has clearly never been shot by a slingshot. A proper slingshot hurts like hell. They can do some serious damage. And it was just freaking strong as a goddamn gun. What about your whole cognitive whatever? Fine, you can choose to understand it however you want. Well, Actually, that is kind of a valid or a fair question. I would actually think that in real life as well. If I see someone get shot with a gun and then shot with a slingshot, I would expect the guy hit with a slingshot would be less injured than the guy shot with a gun. Just, just saying. Oh, uh, by the way, we should decide how to divvy up our roles in battle from here on. Oh, okay. You totally dodged my question. As you can see, there are quite a few lot of enemies important to coordinate our moves. You can keep providing intel on us, or I can keep providing intel for us, but uh, you should decide how we fight. Mm -hmm. Please stop calling me Frizzy Hair. Uh, basically, what we do in battle, you can order us directly and decide what we do. Or let us decide what we do. Yeah, I'm going to be ordering you directly. I guess I'm the only other fighting right now. Party tactics. You can change party tactics by active members. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, again, skill select? Oh, okay, this is, uh, Morgana saying he'll keep doing intel. This is actually somewhat helpful. Press R1 to automatically move the cursor to that option. Uh, you should save, well, this should save the timeline when you only know, yeah. So basically, it does a quick, oh my god, so oh, now it's going to explain rushes. This is just auto attack. And that's that, yeah. Wow. So, party menu. We still don't have a party menu. Oh, stats, wait a second. It said stats. Yeah, here we go. Uh, tactics. Direct commands. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Hopefully, uh, my other party members, as they get added, will just default to direct commands now. So I hate the... Uh, I really hate the, um, like, act freely and, and stuff there. Like, I don't know why they ever thought it was a good idea to just, like, have your party AI controlled. Ugh, terrible idea. And largely because this game doesn't track statuses for enemies. So you never, you can't, even if you hit an enemy with a status effect, it won't tell you if it's weak, vulnerable to it, immune to it. It'll just either, oh, it'll either succeed or it will miss. No, in, no, no way around that. No other, whoa. No other options. I don't want you to see me. I would like to ambush you. Hmm. Please stop. Please stop moving. Hmm. I was going away now. Huh. 
<sighs> Show me your true form. But yeah, if you have uh, the AI control on there, your party members will use what they know is effective, and if they don't know if it's effective or not, which not basically done. means you haven't uh, figured out its weakness or what it's strong against or whatnot, it will go through attacks uh, and, and try to figure out weaknesses unless it already knows a weakness. And if you have a Persona user that has status effects, uh, then they'll try these status effects, but you'll never know whether or not they're weak against it or they're resistant to it or they're just outright immune. Uh, it'll just either miss or not, so your party members will continuously potentially try to use status effects on enemies that are immune and will never work. Which, uh, if you're familiar with Persona, th uh, Persona 3 at all, that's where the uh, the whole meme about Marin fucking Karen comes from. Is because, well, you couldn't control your party members, and one of them would constantly try to charm enemies. Uh, so we know they're weak against wind. Who's next? That's not what I wanted to do. Who's next? Morgana. Perfect. So in that case, uh, what the hell? Persona Garu. Oh. I guess we can't do that yet because it hasn't had a tutorial for it. That's disappointing. Normally that would have been an all-out attack chance. But that hasn't come up yet. So, I guess it doesn't exist yet. Alright. Alright, what else we got and where? Ooh. Pretty sure that's where we need to be going. That's gonna take it down again. Well, we could. I guess that's our only choice, yeah, but this might be a good time. Uh, I'm going to teach you uh, to use special ways to fight enemies. Oh, this is a new technique. Yeah, I think this is the uh, all-out attack uh, tutorial. Let's go. Something like that. Let's go. Listen, there's yeah. a distinct flow to battles. Let me show you. After all, seeing is something. First, knock down all the enemies. Everything starts at that crucial step. Yeah, this is the all-out attack stuff. And so, Persona. Well, it's only letting me use this, so I'm assuming... Some other uh, you know, I'm assuming it's probably weak against Cursed. Weak against... Wow. And yes, it is. Alright. Now rush on in for an all-out attack! Hold up. We only have the one option. Do it. Smooth. Nice going. All right, that went really well. You're definitely fit for this. <laughs> what was that super move thing you did? I just told you it's called an all-out attack. If you manage to knock down all enemies, you'll be able to use it to beat them all at once. Uh... Yeah, that was over quick. Yeah, yeah, thankfully it was. It's a concentrated attack on all defenseless enemies, after all. Now, as I mentioned before, I want you to be the head of our command. You can decide when we use this. Alright, <laughs> that's too much trouble. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we kind of already know this. We've done this already. There are ultimate attacks which deal heavy damage... Uh, cannot use. However, yeah, if he can't act, or if he's the only one that can act, he can't use it. Yeah, you need at least one other person that can act. Now then. Strike the enemy's weakness, knock them all down, then do an all-out attack. That's the ideal pattern. You can also hit them with a critical hit to knock them down as well, but it's not telling me that. Oh, I guess I'm not going that way. And uh, I'm seeing now we're at about. Uh, we are at about 30 minutes here, hmm. so I'm gonna call it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll come back to next time to see what's on the other side of this wall. I'm possibly also going to go back to the save room and save before the start of the next episode. I think I'll do that. So until next time, guys, take care, you hear?